Hey, look, it's me in the whole flesh. Look, look there, there is a fair amount of flesh. Um, I haven't been able to film in ages, and I've wanted, been wanting to film this video for absolutely ages. This is like a, a rollover Brucey bonus kind of favourites video. So I have a metric for a uh, crap ton of things to show you today. Also, some people really hate visible bra straps. What is up with that? Like, why are you the bra police? I feel like the people that get really offended by visible bra straps were the people that lobbied to have Harry Potter banned and not allow, didn't allow their kids to read Harry Potter. Yeah, visible bra straps. Um, I've gone to great lengths to hide my bra straps today so as not to offend anyone. In and actually, they're bright blue anyway. Um, so I went to great lengths to hide them and then I showed them anyway, which shows that I am just a classy bird. Uh, I've been away for a little bit, um, and in that time I got engaged, ting, um, which is obviously really exciting. So here we are with my rain. If you didn't see our little uh, trip to Rome vlog and um, news of our engagement in there, I do a particularly convincing Beyonce style single ladies dance with a, like this. Um, I have to say, I was fooled when I was editing it, and I was pretty sure I actually was Beyonce. Um, but we had an amazing time in holiday, on holiday. We're, um, we're planning our wedding for December, so everything's really exciting. So um, in the next few months, you might see me become a bit of a bridezilla. I've warned all my nearest and dearest of the same thing. So I want to talk about a few beauty favourites that I, in fact, wanted to talk about in January and also February, but I never really got there. So the first thing I need to talk about is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. I haven't talked about this in a while and then I suddenly, in January, I started a new job and this was the one I was picking up every single day without fail. It's an absolutely fantastic foundation. It's very light. It's a lovely texture on your skin which kind of melds well with the texture of your skin. It doesn't highlight dryness too badly for me. And the main thing is that it, it just looks lovely on the skin. It's not too thick, the coverage isn't too heavy. I mean, if you've got extra scarring, you'll probably need extra coverage, extra concealer, but this blends effortlessly and just looks natural and it's just a lovely light feeling foundation. That's all I can say. I can't say enough good things about this. I'm pretty much out of my bottle and my bottle's looking really tired actually, but I do have an application video and review of this which I'll link on my chin because that seems like an appropriate place to link something. It's definitely one of my top five foundations. It's absolutely brilliant. Fantastic price point. Um, colour range is absolute shite but you can lighten it up if you're pale like me and I also like to add a liquid illuminator to give it a little glowy kick. You can never hear me say that ever again. I'm not usually a fan of the glow but um, now I am. So another thing that I've been absolutely obsessed with um, for a couple of months now is the Becca Beach tint in Dragon Fruit. Uh, they don't print the names of the things that they are on the packaging and come on Becca, this is an absolutely stunning like, coral colour. It's a really bright and bold colour. It's just lovely. It's got a lot of pink in it and when I blend this across my cheeks it can look quite hormonal on me. Um, but I love this on the lips, it's really bright, it lasts a really long time because it's water resistant. In fact, Becca Beach Gems are pretty much one of my favourite kind of long lasting, stay the distance kind of products. Um, but I love wearing this on the lips, it gives me a bright, it almost gives me, with liquid liner, it almost gives me like an almost rockabilly kind of feel. I just love this, it's so bright and happy and cheery and um, February is such a dreary month usually so you always need a little bit of cheer. Next, I really want to talk about um, another lip product that I loved this month, and this has been one of those things that I found almost too late. And it's this Laura Mercier uh, gel lip colour, which is um, not something I would usually go for. I don't really go for light or glossy lipsticks, but this is the thing that I'm wearing now. It's a beautiful glossy sheer kind of lipstick almost reminds me of like a luster from MAC really light glides on the lips this is more 
it's more creamy in the sense that it's very glidey and quite slippery. It has a lot of slip to it. But I just adore this colour. It's this like, lovely watermelon pink kind of colour. And I, I just love the way, I love the way that it applies. I just wanted a little bright pop of something which wasn't too heavy or too matte or too obvious. And this is just lovely. I wouldn't say that they have the longest wear time. But um, the way that I'm working my way through this tube at the moment, I absolutely adore this. So if you can get hold of the gel lip colour in rosette, definitely do because it is just lovely. It's going to be my go-to thing for summer, I think. One last lip product to talk about. This is MAC Dubonnet, which has seen a surge in the last couple of weeks. This was one of my favourite ever lipsticks way back when I started my YouTube channel and I got into all these kind of lovely, deep, vampy colours when I was experimenting and kind of finding myself. Um, and this was one of those colours that I just came to again and again and I've used a decent amount of this. It's a lovely, almost bloody red. It has some brown in it and it's it's got some brick in it as well but the way when I wear this I feel very glamorous almost like you could take a picture of me in sepia or black and white because it just makes me feel very 20s especially when I put it with liquid liner again and a really really defined arched brow I just love the way that this looks it looks very vampy very sexy um, and it's not a color I hear a lot of people talking about so if you're looking for kind of a vampy red which doesn't lean purple because they can lean really purple then this might be worth checking out for you it's really creamy really pigmented and it will leave a lip print if you buy it into a juicy burger favorite blush of the now is this one by becca it's wild orchid and it's a cream blush and becca much to my sadness have recently uh, pulled out of the uk and uh, increasingly difficult to get so um, if you can find somewhere that's uh, selling it or still selling it um, I would try and pick this up if I were you because it's this lovely plummy pink colour it's just a lovely kind of mid-tone verging deep beautiful almost or I would say it's probably an autumn hue actually but I've always found it difficult to wear. Every time I've put it on, I've found that it can make me look quite hormonal because there's a bit of there's a fair bit of red in this, and it can make me look very hormonal across the cheeks. However, and on to my next favourite, this brush by Ilamasca has basically renewed my love for blushes that I had tossed aside a little bit because I couldn't quite wear them all the time. This is the Blush Up brush from Ilamasca's new collection. Uh, which is called I'm Perfection slash Imperfection, whichever way you want to read the word. And it doesn't really look like a blush brush at all, but it has really, really solved my issue of not being able to wear a few, some blushes because they make me look a bit crazy when I put them right on the apples of my cheeks. So the way that this works, and it's really forced me to relearn how to apply blush, is that I put it under my cheekbone, and then I brush up, as the name would suggest, brush up. I think there might be still some product on here, so I'm probably going to finish this video looking absolutely insane. But I brush up like this in a straight line, and it's very, very dense. So if you're using a product with a lot of pigmentation, I would suggest being very careful about how much you decide to apply to the brush, because you will end up with um, a David Bowie 80s kind of stripe all the way up your, your cheeks. and. That, that's not what we want. I did say in my review of the collection that I thought this was going to change things for me, and it really, really has. I haven't looked at another blush brush since. This is just perfect to me. I just love the way that I can get cheekbones um, and sculpt my face instead of just kind of haphazardly applying right on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm a huge fan of this. Very soft, cruelty free, as with all Illamasqua brushes. Actually, surprisingly soft for how dense it is, because it looks like it's going to be like a, an absolute stiff bugger. <laughs> um, really, really huge fan of this. I would like to talk about my favourite polish for the last couple of months. This is the Illamasqua Speckle Nail Polish, and I think this is actually in Speckle. They don't they look stunning? They look like mini eggs from Cadbury's. Stunning little pastel purple with these lovely speckles in it which make it look like an egg. It's so beautiful because it's 
it's still a pastel and it's still a conventional spring pastel but the way that they've done it they've made it imperfect and I think it's so much prettier for it because if they'd have just released this as a, a lovely little lilac I would have been disappointed. So I absolutely love these, the wear time is great on these, the coverage is great on these, um, obsessed, just oh, every time I put this on I can't stop looking at my nails. So a couple of last things, this is the Ilmasca Honor pencil, um, it's their medium pencil, they have a few different sizes and this is like a deep brown, almost aubergine colour, it's got some purple in it which really the purple really stands out when you blend it into the crease or out of the of the eye it really brings out the purple i love blending this into the crease it's not too dramatic but it gives a lovely soft slightly warm definition which i would never have tried before until i found this pencil but recently i've been wearing it a bit more subtly and i've been wearing it just smudged under the lower lash line to make my eyes look slightly bigger but without resorting to black eyeliner because Let's face it, I am 26 years old and my goth days are totally gone. Yeah. Um, so for me, this is just an alternative to a black pencil. It's still got the deepness, but it's also got a lovely richness that black doesn't have, which takes away the harshness. Um, I just think this is a beautiful, rich, opulent shade, which everyone should try. A couple of extra non-beauty favourites um, because I am feeling so very chatty today. Um, eBay. eBay is like my favourite thing at the moment, like finding bargains for clothes on eBay. I found this top for like £5 maybe on eBay. I got an awesome cardi. Sometimes you can get not so awesome things that look really different to the pictures and that's what you need to be careful because I received a horrible bright pink top which I was not expecting. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I've got this awesome stripy card. You can see I'm a bit obsessed with stripes at the moment. And then, pièce de la résistance. This dinosaur, where you been t-shirt. That is kind of awesome. So eBay, one of my non-beauty favourites. And then the last thing, this is just for illustrative purposes, a book that I have I had been reading since December and I just, because I don't get time to read very much anymore, um, it took me a really long time to finish it, but it's called The Hundred Year Old Man Who Climbed Out of the Window and Disappeared. It's the story of a man called Alan and on his 100th birthday, about a few minutes before his celebration party starts, he climbs out the window, goes to the bus station and disappears off the face of the earth. And the whole story is that he meets all these people on the way, they accidentally murder a few people, um, they drink a lot of vodka and uh, he but they tell his life story interspersed with it and how he got to be the person he is and how he gave away the secret of the atom bomb to the Russians and then met the President of the United States and became and then became an international spy and things like that and just like his life is just it's just the most charming, lovely, funny book that I've read recently. It was just so lovely and so refreshing to read something which was so, so exactly how I expect that I will be when I am 90, 100, however old I get to live to. That's how I expect I will be, quite, quint quite contrary definitely having a few opinions and um, shaking my stick at everybody but still you know getting drunk along the way so um, I would definitely if you if you can get hold of this definitely read it it's so charming and lovely and I, I can't even describe it without giving too much away but I just I think you would love it so that is my book recommendation for the month which I've never done before and that was probably the least eloquent way of describing a book ever but there are two channels that I'd like to recommend you as well if you ever even get to the end of this video the first one is Redhead PhD which is Lauren and she is just the most erudite lovely oh, I just I want to be her she's so intelligent and well spoken and her fragrance reviews are just amazing just the way that she describes perfume 
just makes you want to buy everything or not buy everything as the case may be depending on the, <laughs> her review but I just love her video she's she's very witty she's very fun I, I think you should go check her out I think because I think you'd love her um, the second one is Seth Aikens 7 who I've been meaning to mention for age as well both of these people I've been wanting to mention since at least April last year and I've failed every single month so Seth Aikens 7 um, he is a he is absolutely fantastic with makeup he does a lot of videos about niche brands like Hourglass and Hourglass and Rouge Bunny Rouge and brands that you wouldn't necessarily see as much on YouTube and he is just an all round sweet guy. His eye looks are fantastic as well. He does great makeup um, and yeah I just think he's lovely. So definitely go check out Lauren and Seth because I've been loving their channels. Well, I, I've, I've been loving their channel since April and it hasn't stopped yet so um, it shows no signs of stopping. So yeah that is everything I think. I think I have talked enough for today. Hopefully you even made it to the end. If you did, prize, ta -da! Um, and I hopefully see you soon. Have a lovely day and yeah, bye!